Bonjour. You see, every once in a while, I'm gonna give you a little culture here on Tate's Tate. Today's lesson, the French movie called Portrait of a Lady on Fire. High key, the best thing to come out of France since the croissant or the French fry. Wait. probably wondering what the hell's going on over here. So, Portrait of a Lady on Fire is a French movie directed by Celine Siama that stars Nomi Merlant and Adele Hanel. Yeah, I know I can't even pronounce the American name, so just bear with me here. So this movie actually came out back in May in France for the Cannes Film Festival. Actually won the award for best screenplay, so shout out to y'all. Then the rest of France could see it in September, and it then came to the United States with a limited release during Valentine's Day when I was watching the photograph. Anywho, they extended the run through March in one New York City movie theater, so I got to go see it. Anyway, plot time. All right, stay with me here. Okay, this is a story that takes place in the late 18th century. Mainly revolves around two women, Marianne and Eloise. All right, so Marianne pulls up on this isolated island in Brittany. That's the spot in France. She was actually hired to paint this portrait of Eloise. Why, you may ask? It's because Eloise was supposed to be married off to some rich dude from Milan. Fancy. Now check this. It was actually Eloise's mom that set up with this rich Italian dude. Now, what's even crazier is that it was actually supposed to be Eloise's sister who's gonna marry this dude, who actually ended up killing herself before the deed was done. Ain't that crazy? Basically the mom was like, all right, now you gotta marry him. Can you imagine? Anyway, matchmaker mom tells Marianne, the painter, that Eloise has refused to pose for portraits from the last two painters, cause she didn't wanna get married. I guess back then, before you got married, the dude got a portrait of the woman that he could put up in his crib. Kind of weird. But I guess if the people from 18th century France could see, like, Tinder, they'll call us weird too. Hmm. Anyway, basically the mom tells Mary and I, so boom. My daughter don't want to post for no painting because she want to marry this dude. So I'm going to tell her that I hired you just to be her friend, so we can walk around, just kick it with, you know, since her sister died and all that. So that means... You're gonna have to paint her from memory. That's crazy. It's cold. It's cold. So now Marion is kicking in with Eloise and looking at her real close so she can go back to her room every night and get to painting. They need some trailer? Man, hit him with some trailer. Je suis peintre. L'homme intéressé par ma fille est Milanais. Nous partons là-bas si le portrait lui plaît. Il a épuisé déjà un peintre avant vous. Que s'est-il passé Je ne sais pas. Il vous attend. Ça fait des années que je rêve de faire ça. Vous allez devoir la peindre sans qu'elle le sache. Elle pense que vous êtes une compagne de promenade pour quelque chose. Hold up. Y'all see that 18th century drip? Stop. So obviously no spoiler they fall in love. And I don't blame them. I think I fell in love watching this damn movie. Honestly, everything about this movie is fire. The cast, the acting, the story, and the damn portrait. I feel like every shot in the movie could have been its own portrait. And I don't even use this word, but the movie is just uh, beautiful. Ah, yikes, it's just too good. First of all, you're watching these two spend more and more time together and you know they're gonna fall in love. But you also know that at that time, that love is the thing that wasn't allowed to happen. Sometimes they have a hard enough time in 2020, much less the 1700s. And that's what's great about the movie and so unique about it is that you're seeing a pure relationship form and the pain that it might not work out and they just happen to be lesbian. The director of the film is herself a lesbian, and, fun fact, actually dated Eloise in real life. Now speaking of ex goals, you could break up with your girl and then cast her to be in an award-winning movie? That's growth. You know, we could learn a thing or two. 
She states in interviews how lesbians have been erased from history. Another thing she references is how the narrative of the film is based on the equality of the love story because there's no gender domination. I don't know, man. And what, man? This movie was on my mind for days after I left the theater. You know, remember when we, we could, like, leave the house and stuff? Anyway, it's... I don't know if I know how to use this word either, but... Uh, uh, masterpiece? Uh, I don't... It is. I highly recommend everyone go out and... No. I highly recommend everyone rent it when it becomes available on your digital platforms. I don't know, man. It's great. Uh, this is five stars. This is five. All five of the stars. Anyway, this movie totally deserves all the awards it has and will receive. The only reason it wasn't in the Oscars is because the French only get to submit one movie. And since this movie was built from the same studios as Parasite, essentially, they ain't won no smoke. But it's fantastic. And also, super steamy. Like, yeah, it's, it's steamy. As always, thanks for checking out Taste Take. Please take a second and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Times are changing. As you all know, with the closure of the movie theaters, it's going to be tough for me to review some of the movies that I had on my lineup from March and April. Hopefully we can get back on track, but AMC says they're closing from 6 to 12 weeks. So what I'm going to do is review some of the movies that I may have missed that I'll be able to rent, some of the newer movies. Um, I can do Netflix movies, I can do Hulu movies, Amazon movies. Amazon got movies? The point is, there's movies out there, so if there's a movie you want to see me review, just put that in the comments. I'm not watching Cats. Thanks, y'all. Peace. And more importantly, stay safe. Quel en est le titre? Portrait de la jeune fille en feu.